Hi, Warrior. It's Trapsin here, and welcome back to our adventures in Diablo 4 Season 1. Last episode, we got to level 82. And today, we are going to be grinding some Nightmare Dungeons, and we are going to start with Ulder's Cave. Dungeon affixes reduce cooldowns on kill, Lightning Storm, Monster Shadow Damage over time, Monster Barrier, and Monster Crowd Control Resist. Alright, off to Ulder's Cave we go. This is the highest level I have been in Diablo 4. So we will see what this grind from 82 to 100 is like. Even though this is going to be kind of new, I guess. It's, well, it's not... The old... It, it took longer. They've recently buffed it. Buffed the XP by quite a bit, so... It's only like 3 to 5%, I would say. But it's still going to take quite a while, I think, to get to 100. We'll see how long. Alright, so here we go. Older's Cave. I like this dungeon. Kind of reminds me of Domain Tunnels. Play pretty large packs. A lot of close quarters combat. The only thing I'm not a fan of in this dungeon is the is the wasps. These little scorch stingers. They do a lot of damage. Pants, nice. I need more time. What happened there? Oh, <laughs> they went stealth out of nowhere. I forgot to get uh, an elixir going. I always forget that. Use a uh, manslaying. There's some humanoids in this dungeon. It would be awesome if they had timers for, like, each dungeon you've done. Like, what's the fastest time you've completed this, you know, dungeon? And what, uh, nightmare tier it was at? Or the fastest time you cleared for each tier? It'd be kind of cool to see. Gives you something to like, you know, try to beat. 
while you're doing the dungeon. Yeah, that fire there. I need more time. It's really the only stats that we can see at the moment is just how many of each mob we've slain so far. Oh, they do a lot of damage, those throat slitters. Are we bleeding? Is that why we can't open the lever? There we go. Does that work? Dude, we can't even get by here. This is so annoying. Did we die? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man, that was hilarious. I just died to a trap. Got hit by it like three times. I honestly didn't do that on purpose, guys. I swear, like, I don't know. I just couldn't get, like, hit the lever for some reason. I don't know what we, what we had on us. Maybe it was like some dot damage. I know we got hit by the trap a few times. We haven't died in a while either. I can't believe that's how we died. See that? There we go. <laughs> we got it. No damn time. I can't believe I died to that, man. Imagine losing your hardcore character that way to a lever trap. It's a rough way to die. A oh, Serrat Slayer, that's a cool dungeon. Well, it's probably a good time for us to head back and check out our loot here. Still can't believe I died that way. You gotta make sure you're at... You can hit the lever from outside of the trap. It's just I was... Just a little impatient there. I didn't know why we weren't able to just, like, press it down. That's another annoying thing, too. Like, I don't know. It's not that annoying. <laughs> but it was it was annoying at the, like, during while I wasn't able to do it. Okay, so let's see if we've got any upgrades here. Temerity. It's a unique legendary we got. Legendary legs. Effects. The heal. Effects that heal you beyond 100% life grant you a barrier up to 40% of your maximum life that lasts for 8 seconds. And it can go up to 80%. We got the lowest roll on that, so we'll get rid of it. Alright, back to the dungeon. Not in town.
time. Where they spawned on us there. Not even close to all of the enemies we need to slay. Seven remain. Hopefully they're all up here. Three remain. Watch out here though. The ringleader. Got a lot of sigils there. And let's upgrade combat. We'll get that to rank 12. And let's see if we got any good loot, guys. Ancestral rare gloves. I can break that down. You can still use these. Sacred legendary chest with an aspect. It's not bad. Pretty good, actually. Hold on to that. 22%. Take 22% less damage from crowd-controlled enemies. Whenever a crowd-controlled enemy deals direct damage to you, gain 15% move speed for 2 seconds. Decent roll on that aspect. There's that. All right. So what dungeon do we want to do next? I think we'll head back to the, the chest first. I'll put these gems and this legendary aspect away. Kind of running out of space. I'll have to fix that up later. Got a decent amount of space here. We can just throw stuff in. But we're getting there. We're going to have to clean stuff up soon. So what do we do next? We got a Surat's Lair. I think we'll do that. Dungeon of Fixes, Quick Killer, Drifting Shade, Monster Shadow Damage, Monster Physical Resist, and Potion Breakers.
I rarely ever see anybody in town. I think I might have like an option on that that allows I don't think I don't have crossplay. Like I got rid of crossplay or something like that. Connect. Cross network communications. Cross network play. Yeah, I think that's why. If you like it's so weird. Like not seeing anybody. <laughs> It's almost, it feels like you're the only one playing the game. But I turned it off. Like, I can turn it on, and I guess we'll start to get, to get to see, you know, people playing on, like, Xbox and PS5. But it's so weird not to see anybody playing on PC. Like, I go to vendors. Like, you would think, like, when you go to a vendor in, like, Kiovashad, you see, like, a couple people there, like you used to. When the game first came out. But uh, you don't see anybody, man. The reason why I took off uh, Cross Network... It's just so I didn't... You know, I guess for latency issues, just to make it a little bit better. There we go, Dexterity. We're getting close to a new Paragon board. A lot of poison damage here. We're using a lot of health bots. Need more time. This is actually the first ever Diablo, I think, that was developed with the intent of it to be played on console. I just thought about that now since we were thinking about like, the crossplay. Supposedly you can play it on like older versions of Xbox, PS4 as well. I assume that really affected many of the decisions that they made about the game. It kind of does feel like a console game. I think I think this game would honestly be more fun using a controller. <laughs> it's just so it's weird to say as a you know as a Diablo game because Diablo's always been a PC game. I know three. Like three eventually got onto console. But when it first came out, it was on PC for like a long time. And then eventually they got it onto console. I think this game had the intent for sure to to do well on console. Be interested to know like how many copies they've sold on all the platforms. Supposedly it did really well. Like it sold a lot. And it, you know, it, it, it should, right? It's got a, it's Diablo, right? Like three, three wasn't like that great, but it wasn't bad. And like three was still, still a decent ARPG. I enjoyed playing it. And then two was like the grandfather. I don't know if you say the grandfather, but it was like the RPG that everybody loved to play. And then 
this one's kind of, uh, it had an amazing launch, and then now it's, like, working its way back up from all of the online negative reviews that it's gotten over the past couple of months. Views were positive, though. I, I find that kind of interesting. Like, everybody loved the game that, that reviewed it for the first, like, three weeks. And then, like, once people got to, like, the, the part where I'm at, <laughs> or endgame, it's just that everything changed. Not too sure why that happened. Well, I do know. It's just because they had a lack engine. The game came out too early. They need to wait until 2024, I think. Before releasing the game. Yeah, we're gonna die. Nope. We're able to get out just in time. And we have a ancestral uh, chest armor. That's cool. Hopefully it's one that's good for our build. Alright, where to now? One more Silk Inspire. I think there's tech down here. Off to the Queen's Den. Saran. Now, once we get th these mobs to this boss to level 100, I think they get another 50% or 100% HP bonus. I can't do that here. So we'll see how long it takes us to um, slay the bosses when that happens. Okay, so let's uh, pick up the Ancestral and Legendary, and we'll keep upgrading combat. One thing I find interesting is like how much better crossbows are than than bows. Like I never used I I rarely ever used a bow. I think it's because crossbows have like an innate like vulnerable damage bonus, which is an amazing stat for us. There it is, Razor Plate. <laughs> Low roll Razor Plate. Gain 7,657 thorns. And you get up to 10,528. And that's, that's all you get from the, the chest. Interesting, uh, unique. What's left, you ask? I wonder if anybody ever uses that. Or like what build it would be amazing for. It'd be cool to see it used in a build and, and it actually work out well. Cow of the Nameless. K 
gain 24% increased lucky chance, hit chance against crowd controlled enemies. It's a cool helmet. We'll hold on to that. I don't think we have that yet. Check out this ancestral legendary sword. Nope. No, we don't want these pants either. There we go. Alright, so let's drop this off. Looks like we're running out of room, so let's throw this stuff in this stash over here. Alright, guys. Well, that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.